What's poppin' y'all? It's it's not looking like it's going too hot for Lil Baby. Disregarding the fact that his career has been in a bit of a lull the past year or two, the fact that his music video, shoot, just got shot up the other day was an indication to me that things have changed. So we'll first go over it real quick. I posted it on my Instagram. You should follow me at Hello You Seen. I post a lot of updates there. But his music video shoot was shot up three people were hospitalized three people were shot this was in atlanta there was a video i'll post a video clip right now of one of the workers from close by that was able to capture some footage as well as some audio So as you can see, these guys, apparently, the shooters, alleged shooters, they were pretending like they were recording a video close by and then they just pulled off and started firing shots. The weird thing about this is some people were giving their comments and they were saying, hey, uh, Lil Baby's so rich, why is he going back to the hood to shoot this music video? I don't know if he was shooting this music video in the hood. Not too entirely sure. Fox 5 Atlanta even tweeted at him and said, at Lil Baby, we're hearing reports of a shooting on the set of your music video on Ver Verbena Street. Are you okay? Someone let me know, is that a bad area in Atlanta or not? Atlanta seems to have a ton of pockets. So I'm like, some places that's nice and then you walk a couple of blocks and it's not so nice. That At least that was my experience when I was there. But keep in mind, I was in, it was a very limited experience. I was there for a work trip conference thing f over four years ago. It was early 2020 around February. And I was, keep in mind, I was in a limited area. I was on foot for the most part, didn't do a ton of driving, and it was my first time there. Obviously, Atlanta probably has changed a ton since then, well over four years, a bunch of people moving in there, including rappers. And like I said, I definitely don't have a strong gauge of the city. So you guys let me know that are from there. Was this a not so good area that Lil Baby was doing a music video shoot in? But one of the things that I reminisce about is the days when everybody was gassing Lil Baby. And I wouldn't say I was a Lil Baby hater, but I didn't understand the hype. And I said, that I think the album was street gossip. I was very surprised that people thought it was such a great album. Now, the album that had my turn, I liked that album. It was good. But I felt like people were gassing Lil Baby like he was the hottest, not the hottest thing. He was the hottest thing. That's a fact. Like he was the second coming of Lil Wayne or somebody that's amazing. And I just never experienced that when I listened to his music. I said, okay, some of this music is good, but this guy sounds very similar on most of these songs. And I don't see him changing too much. He took an angle with that track in 2020, I think it was. It was the one with him like holding his fist up. I can't believe I'm forgetting the title. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. And then he quickly pivoted and said, oh, you know, I'm not going to focus on that those type of tracks. That was just a one-time thing, which I don't think he needed to make that announcement because it kind of pushed him in the lane of commercial, I wouldn't say soulless, but commercial rapper that doesn't have much that people can hold on to. Because if you're not a street rapper, which Lil Baby was a street rapper, but now he's just so famous and he's at all of these parties, you kind of lose that allure of the street element and you're not preaching. Uh, it's, it's, got, it's such a loaded word now when you say preaching. And you're not pushing some sort of message that resonates with the people. You just come across as, okay, deliver us some hits. Think of a Pitbull or Flo Rida. I'm not saying that's what he has to do, but Pitbull, Flo Rida, Jason Derulo, if they don't drop a smash hit, nobody's really paying attention. So Lil Baby was under that pressure and he hasn't been able to forge a hit out of it yet. Dropped an album that sold very, very shockingly well, but 
the consensus on it was it was mid and that song hey everyone was looking around like yo who let this song out of the studio better yet who put this song front running to be the one that gets pushed on radio and all of that so the way i was thinking is okay this music video shoot happens very very unfortunate thank god i believe everyone is alive and i don't even think they're in critical condition they said they're recovering one guy got shot in the neck and drove himself to the hospital which that's some real it's almost out of a cartoon or not even a cartoon like some tv show now i haven't watched a tv show in a long time you guys get where i'm getting it. you guys know where i'm getting at i should say so i think about this like where does little baby go from here if and this isn't the greatest gauge of interest but this post not too many people cared about it on my ig and that's a decent gauge there isn't much else going on right now kendrick lamar and drake thing it had its moment and slowly passed we're still paying attention to it people are still listening to the songs not like us of course beating crazy records think over 100 million streams in its first week even beat taylor swift but what else do we got metro boomin and 21 savage with soldier boy that came and went pretty quickly that was a day thing other than that this should have been the thing that everyone was talking about usually we would have theories like i said of people talking about yo is Lil baby into it what gang is Lil baby into it with if you guys remember they had a he had a spat with offset i think that got patched up though but no attention is the worst especially when something of this magnitude happens it's crazy to say how does Lil baby capitalize on it because what kind of career are you in where a shooting happens you know thank god he didn't really get hurt and you've got to capitalize on it or it's a moment to capitalize on insanity as for little baby i hope he does something because i'm in favor of the da baby movement right now 2024 i want people to be with the da baby over little baby because people love to hate on the baby but if you just go through the baby's records like the baby's hit songs and the baby's hit features and you're telling me the baby sounds the same on every track but Low Baby doesn't? Look at that verse that DaBaby dropped on that Revenge of the Dreamers album. Look at the song Babysitter. Look at Rockstar. What else? DaBaby's been a bunch been on a bunch of songs on the remix with that song with Dua Lipa. DaBaby sounds different. DaBaby can rap. Sure, DaBaby for a while his choice of beats is questionable, but that also that's also what made his initial style. But yeah, it's DaBaby versus Low Baby. Like, so let's see who can come out of falling off. Ugh. We'll say come back into the forefront because I don't think either of them really fell off too bad. The baby shows, though, in his last tour, they weren't looking too packed. I think he was, well, they were packed. He was just doing significantly smaller venues. But the baby seems like he's ready to outwork somebody. And low baby, I think he's coasting along. I don't think the baby fell into the trap of celebrity too much. I think he's just with his family raps and doesn't care about doing the most if it doesn't involve him getting his money low baby on the other hand i think he fell into the trap that tiger did not the whole relationship thing but going to all these events meeting with all of these hundred millionaire nine figure people billionaires doing deals with them like he did a deal for that song merch madness and kind of i wouldn't say hold him out but diluted the hype that people had for him by doing a bunch of things there has to be a tasteful proportion of what you give the fans that you know they want and love versus the commercial deals that you have and an example of somebody that does that really well is travis scott like after a while of doing deals travis scott was like okay i'm gonna give you all utopia give us utopia and then now he's probably back onto something like that yeah i'm interested in seeing any more developments on this with Lil baby it got me paying attention to Lil baby's music again I want to see where he takes his career. There's nothing I love more than a good comeback, but it still is the baby over Lil Baby for 2024. Those are my picks. Let me know what your picks are. Like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Peace.